On to event two, the Farmer's Walk, a 40-metre course and 60 seconds to carry a combined weight of 320 kilos. Over to Danny and Colin. Big time, big time. You really want to do these runs in, uh, well, two runs. Run it down there, put it down, turn around and come back again. One hit <laughs> each time. Well, Tom Stoltman up against Mark Felix, a man known for his grip. He certainly is. Yeah, Tom Stoltman might be a little quicker. Uh, in terms of foot speed, but Felix, he's not letting this go. And they're off. We've got the Hercules hold later on as well. This is pretty brutal considering we've got that later. It's gonna, gonna make it even hard for Felix, that event. Now then, they both make it in one hit to the first 20 meter mark. Just a straight run back then. Well, Stoltman's height should help him a bit here. You really don't want this clanking down on the ground. Yeah, it is actually touching the ground a little bit there for Felix. Doesn't bother him. He's going to make it. There he goes. I was worried he dropped it on his foot. I think it was a shout of joy. 29.12 seconds for Felix. Stoltman, 29.71. Yeah, it was just that final few metres. His grip gave out. Well, on then to Shibliakov. Always with his beret. And a salute. Sometimes a cheeky smile. And just chalking up, Lissis, born in Latvia, moved over to California at a very young age with his parents, he wanted to be near his parents. Gearing up now, so America against Russia. And they're off. Fast start from Shibliakov, maybe, maybe too fast there. You're right, yeah, he didn't quite get his grip right. I think his left hand was in a different position and the front nose just dipped down. Now the halfway. 20 metres back. This is a little slower now. What was up with that? I think he just dropped them a little sloppily. And look at Shebliakov, the Marine, charging ahead. Charging ahead, but this is really struggling. Can't quite get the balance. 24.75 for Shebliakov. Puts him in first place in this event. Lissis struggles over the line. Big surprise that. Big Lissis surprise. has a good grip normally. What happened there? 32.38 seconds for Lissis. Shevikov, this is tough as nails, isn't he? I think she gives himself concussion with that salute. On then to Stolman. The Highland Oak. One of the friendliest competitors around. Up against Kieliskowski. Man, we've just seen get better and better and more fearsome. And always so focused over the years. He doesn't exactly waste a lot of time laughing and joking. <laughs> He's really down to business, <laughs> Kieliskowski. Look at the speed. Outrageous. Goodness me, it was like a bullet start, one foot forward. <laughs> Eight seconds at the turn, we haven't seen that yet. Well, if he could just maintain that, maintain the balance and the focus, which he... Bah. That's all he does, isn't it? Look at that! Oh! Oh, my goodness, the cameraman! I think he thinks he's <laughs> curling. And Stoltman, well, that was quite a challenge to him. And through grit, manages 26.2 seconds. But what speed from Kieliskowski. Unbelievable. I mean, Stoltman did well there, considering he dropped it a few times, but what was that? It was like nothing. Do you think you're the fastest strong man in the world? In this event? Yes. And just finally, you seem like a happy strong man at the moment. No? I'm happy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy because if something going uh, good, I'm happy if something going wrong, it's probably sad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see you, Matthias. Thank you. Thank you. A delighted Matthias takes the win with a blistering time, almost six seconds faster than Shivlikov in second, with Pritchett just behind in third.